more crypto is traded against them. While there are over $170 billion of them in circulation, stablecoins have gained even more popularity in a bad light recently, thanks to Terra Luna. Stablecoins are actually tokens with utility built on another coin's blockchain. They are cryptocurrencies pegged one for one to the value of another asset, like a fiat currency or commodity. However, stablecoins are most often pegged to the USD. Check our video on coin versus token to understand the difference between a coin and a token. Is there a need for stablecoins in the first place? To answer this, we have to understand volatility in cryptocurrencies. You may think crypto's input in the world's supply of money is huge, hitting as high as $3 trillion last November. But the market cap of crypto is a tiny drop in the ocean compared to the total financial ecosystem, which is around 1.3 quadrillion. To give you a clearer idea, a quadrillion is 1,000 trillion or 15 zeros. We will be over the moon if only our channel can hit three zeros, so if you find value in our video so far, Help us hit our target and smash our subscribe button. This encourages us to make more beneficial content. The most popular crypto is Bitcoin, and it is still subjected to volatility, so you can imagine the massive price fluctuations of the other altcoins. The smaller a market cap of an asset, the more volatile its price is. Kind of like throwing a massive rock into a small pond versus throwing it into the sea. The rock will create a huge splash in the small pond but hardly make waves in the sea. Imagine the small pond is the total market cap of crypto now. The price of crypto is easily affected by daily trading. This poses the problem. We cannot make use of cryptocurrencies benefits like decentralization, free for everyone, and finally the low to almost free processing and transaction fees without being affected by the volatility. A good example is using Bitcoin or Ethereum for everyday transactions, when it is worth $3,000 today and $50,000 tomorrow. To put that in perspective, just think of that poor guy who bought two pizzas for 10,000 bitcoins. Stablecoins are built as an alternative to the volatile cryptocurrencies. They aim to provide the best of fiat money and cryptocurrencies, which are the flexibility that crypto has and the stability of fiat. If you want to store or grow your money in the crypto space, but are afraid of the crypto losing its value due to the volatility. You can use a stable coin as a dollar is always a dollar, unless it's Terra Luna. Take for example, I have some Bitcoins, and I know Bitcoin's price is going to fall soon. I can exchange my Bitcoins for some tethered USDT, which is pegged to USD to retain my dollar value, and simply exchange Bitcoins back with USDT once the price of Bitcoin drops. Another benefit of stablecoin is that moving funds between decentralized exchanges is quicker and cheaper than fiat on centralized exchanges. We have some videos on DeFi that will help you understand decentralized exchanges better. Their links are in the description below. A good use of stablecoin is investing on DeFi platforms like Aave to earn interest on your asset. 20% returns on your USDT is way better than 20% returns on Cardano if ADA drops by half. With that said, please do not exchange all your fiat to stablecoins. It is important to know how stablecoins work before testing this lucrative asset out. Stablecoins maintains its peg in two ways, collateralization and algorithmic mechanism using smart contracts. The first method is to back the coins with an asset like the US dollar, euro, gold, or other cryptocurrencies. An example is Tether USDT, backed by US dollars in cash, though it's rumored that they don't have a dollar for every coin. DGX is a token backed by gold, while DAI is pegged to USD, but backed by Ethereum. Crypto collateralized coins are usually backed by 150% of the asset instead of one to one due to the volatile nature of the asset. The second method is using an algorithmic peg. The price is maintained by manipulating coin supply in the market. How this works is via smart contracts, a set of automated rules written to increase or decrease the amount of stablecoin in circulation in relation to the price of the coin. We have an in-depth video on smart contracts. Link in the description below. 
but basically, it works on a supply and demand logic. If the price of the coin is above a dollar, new coins are minted to increase the supply, thus bringing down the price. On the other hand, if the price is below a dollar, coins are burned to decrease the supply, thus the price will go back up to a dollar. Algorithmic stablecoins do not have any assets back as collateral, and these coins are more volatile due to the nature of how they work. A fine example is the infamous Terra Luna incident. Check our Terra Luna crash video to get up to date with what exactly happened. Now that we covered the two methods, let us go over the pros and cons of each method before you jump onto the bandwagon and buy some stablecoins. Pros of collateralized stablecoins. Because it is backed by an asset, there is stability. Cons of collateralized stablecoins. The asset is just stored and cannot be used for anything else. There is a risk of embezzlement. The company that created the coin may just wind down. It is hard to prove the company really owns the same amount of assets to back the coins in circulation. A very good example is Tether, which has not done a full audit of its reserves despite repeated requests from the public. Collateralized stablecoins backed by crypto, though transparent, are very volatile as the asset itself fluctuates a lot. Pros of algorithmic stablecoins The company of the coin does not need to hold any asset. They are free to use the profit to generate more revenue. Cons of algorithmic stablecoins Two words, Terra Luna in general, while stablecoins have their advantages, like the convenience, flexibility, and privacy of DeFi, and the stability and security of established fiat currency, there is a lack of insurance in both collateralized and algorithmic stablecoins. In our traditional financial system, our deposits in banks are insured by the government. Stablecoins do not have this guarantee yet, though we are sure there will be as the DeFi space matures. Regulators are constantly scrutinizing stablecoins because of their massive growth in the market and the potential to affect the traditional financial system. This is made worse by the great collapse of Terra Luna. However, they have great utility in DeFi and the crypto space. Always do your own research before you buy them for investing in DeFi platforms. Just like how stablecoin is a great addition to crypto, there is a new token touted as the future of Ethereum by none other than Vatilik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum. You can check out our video on Soulbound Token, an NFT that could blow up later this year. See you there.